This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of uh, Our World Is Ended. I actually started that with the protagonist's voice in mind. <laughs> That's why it sounded a little weird. In the last episode, we finished the Council of Seven meeting and had some issues with our headsets. Uh, it was kind of weird. It glitched out multiple times and we didn't even get to see the erotic babe of uh, monsters. Oh, well, maybe another damn. But then, as soon as we, you know, left and kept, and everyone went to their own devices, we tried to leave, but we kept tel getting teleported back to the same place. This can't be real. Is this, is this real life? Is this, is this truly happening? Oh man, I'm totally freaking out. Anyway, we've got to figure out what's going on. Huh? Oh man, it's, looks like it's mystery time, folks. Let's continue on and see what, uh, see what we find out. This isn't real. This just can't be real. No way. No way. No way. I mutter like that, uh, like I'm delirious, and start running again. Third time's the charm. Without stopping for a moment, I pass, pass the common Ariman again and towards the station. The results are the same. Even so, I don't give up and try over and over again. What happened to all the sound effects? I know I turned them down, but I didn't turn them that far down. Hold on a second. The sound effects are on and everything. I just turned them low, but I should be hearing them. Hmm. I don't know, should I? All right, I'll turn them up a bit. Uh, maybe I'm just not supposed to have them at this moment because of the seriousness of the scene. I'm turning that voice so I can talk over them so it doesn't sound too loud. Hmm. All right, sorry about that. Over and over and over. And over and over, over and over and over again, over and over and over again, and over and over and over and over, over and over again, and over and over and over and over. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life's but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Okay, finally, he's doing something new now. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't reach the station. I stopped running. My stamina and willpower completely drained. What are we, stats in the game now? I can't deny what's happening any longer. Going to Asakusa Station instantly makes you move to the intersection of, at the Kaminari Block 1. I can't help but acknowledge this unnatural loop phenomenon as reality. I can't even begin to understand why it's happening. What What do I understand, though? What, what I do understand, though, is that I... I'm trapped in Asakusa. That's the deepest levels of hell right there. Shock, perplexion, panic, and despair overwhelm my heart. Take the form of a shout. What the hell is this? Sorry, it's hard to yell with this actual voice I'm doing. Chapter 2. Our world has changed. World abnormal. Well, take a hot minute there. Alright then. The Saga Shopping Street. 7-16-2017, 9.38pm. Hmm. So it looks like we've, we're stuck in some like weird world of our own making. Okay. I actually found out why, why the sound effects weren't working. It's because I actually had my... Uh, I didn't actually turn my spe uh, headset on. Uh, the mic works, but I didn't turn the headset piece on. So now it uh, <laughs> so it might sound weird to you folks going, what is he talking about? He can hear it just fine. So now well, you'll find out about that later. The incomprehensible phenomena is keeping me in Asakusa, so I just returned to the office. I don't have the energy or willpower to go anywhere else. As I go through the Zago shopping street, I run to asana -san and Unison. <laughs> Oh, it's Reggie Coon. Did you forget something? Or did you for give up on going home and decide to stay at the base? That's fine and all, but I'd go, go take a shower and visit the past. I don't want the dev room to reek like a sweat. It's not that, Asana san. Unison, please come down and listen to me. Yeah, that's going to work. Just they'd have to experience it themselves, otherwise, they're not going to believe you. I come close to them and make the most serious face I can. I can't leave. Yeah? I can't leave Asakusa. Whenever I try, I just go back to Asakusa. It happens over and over. A brief silence. Then Asana-san makes an exasperated face. 
Could you, if you're gonna lie to us, make it a bit more realistic. Seriously, I can't leave As Asakusa. Yeah, right. She's right, not even I would fall for that. So you fall for stuff like that regularly, dude? Hey, I'm not lying. No matter how many times I try, I always return to Asakusa. As I do my best to convince them, Unison looks at me with worry in her eyes. Rachel, your head overheated while we were experimenting today, right? That must have been, uh, that must have done something to your brain. I should have sh thrown the shaved ice on your head. Sorry. She actually looks apologetic. No, my head's working just fine. You don't need to feel guilty. But I'm serious. I can't get to the station. Cut it out already. Asana-san becomes irritated. We're going, uh, we're going home now. Quit wasting our time with that nonsense. Suddenly she gasps. Wait, are you gunning for you now? Are you trying to scare her and go back and stay at the base with you? Do you plan on sneaking in and sleeping next to her? Wow, that's just creepy, dude. I'm a perv, but not a but not an asshole. I'm I'm not. That assumption is way out there. Sure, I'd love to sleep next to you, Nissan, but I'm not in a state of mind to think anything like that. Then am I the target? Nah, I don't know, lady. Your breasts are your breasts are very small. <laughs> she sounds completely uh, she sounds completely confused. Hold on, that's just way too sudden. I don't know how to respond. Wait, you're blushing? What? Asana-san starts panicking. She must be pretty drunk to come to such a strange conclusion. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes more sense. No, definitely not. Unison is one thing, but I don't even think about you. Wow. Way to calm down the situation, that whole... I'm only trying to clear up this weird mis misunderstanding, but it looks like I picked the wrong words. You know it's one thing, but I don't even think about you. She heavily emphasized every word, making it clear just how mad she is. You've got some guts. I guess you're ready for this one. She cracks her fist, then punches my shoulder, not holding back at all. Jeez. Ow, 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 I'm sorry. That just slipped. I'm really sorry. Shortly after my desperate apology, Asana-san stops her relentless attack. Jeez, you're so rude. I, didn't, I don't think anything of you either, got it? What are you? I thought you weren't the... Well, maybe you are Sundari, I don't know. I guess you can have multiple Sundaris in the game. Actually, she's acting more Sundari than the other... You know, I'm probably misusing Sundari, but... Because it's all about, I don't... I hate you, but I actually secretly like you. That's the mentality of it, so... She's, she's showing it more than the goth chick. All right, let's just leave this dumbass and go, Yuna. Oh, okay, sis. Yuna-san replies to her sister, then looks at me and whispers, Sorry about that, rage Kun, but you're a bit guilty, too. She's actually way more naive than she looks. You know. Oh, she said you, sorry. You know. Oh, coming. See you, rage Kun. She waves and they both leave. I said it to clear a weird misunderstanding, but yeah, I don't even think about you was really harsh. Now back to the supernatural loop phenomenon. I don't know the exact address, but I hear they live about 20 minutes away from the base. Based on that, I can assume it's farther away than Asakusa Station, making it likely they'll experience the same phenomenon. Or maybe... Rage-Kun, Ra your head... Oh, oh. Rage-Kun, you know just... You had overheated while we were expanding today, right? That must have done something to your brain. Brains. Yuna's words come back to me. Maybe she's right. Maybe it's all a delusion. A bit, a bit uh, worried about my mental health, I decide to stay here and wait. If they experience the same thing as me, they'll surely return here. You think? Ten minutes have passed since they left. If they went through the same thing I did, they should be back soon. Time seems to pass so slowly right now. Maybe it was really in my head? As I'm about to despair, I see the two walk over from the side opposite to where they left. Aha! I wasn't lying. No. Well, what happened? Exactly what you said. We just walked home and for some reason went out at a, on a completely different place. Weird. Looks like they experienced the same phenomenon. What a relief. My brain isn't messed up. Well, let's not jump to conclusions, dude. There's no way. Why would we be closed off in Asakusa? That doesn't make sense. You know, let's go again. Uh, wait. 
Unison Unison walks ahead at brisk pace, and Unison follows after her. Just wa looking at his watch, just like waiting. A few minutes later, they come from the opposite side again. Hey, oh. Hey, yep, we're back again. One more time. Yeah, again? I know exactly how Asana san feels. I also became agitated and went between the Asakusa station and the Ka Kaminari Mon Block 1 intersection. I just let her. Uh, I'll just let her try it over and over until she's satisfied. Yeah, we did do it quite a few times until we stopped. Asana san and Unison continue running laps across Asa Asakusa over and over. The result was always the same. Sis, let's just give up. I'm tired. You just wait here. I'm not giving up. This just isn't right. Asana-san leaves Unison and keeps trying, but... 12 hours later. <laughs> Again? This is fun, folks, for being the same. I mean, I get the point is to show it off, but you could just said she tried a million times and came back. Boom. Done. You know, anyway. Not yet. This is so much fun. Plot. <laughs> By the time I've lost count of how many times she passed, I see her stagger over to us from the other side. She looks completely drained. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm recording this a little late. What's going on here? This doesn't make sense. Reggie, what did you do? What I do? Well, that's just idiotic. She presses me for an answer. Anyone reason unreasonable would know that someone as simple as me would never be able to do this. But she's panicking too much to think, make, think things through. Hey, I'm not the one who did this. How would you even go about doing this anyway? My desperate words make her calm down a bit. Right, a dumb college student like you would never be able to do this. Now that's just mean. Not that she's wrong, but still. What then? What, uh, what, what is this? What is happening? Is this a Tanuki's doing or a Kitsune? Kitsune? Kitsune's? I think it's Kitsune. Kitsune? Sune? It's either Kitsune or Kitsune. I've never been able to pronounce it right. A Tanuki? Raccoon with big balls? She looks completely pale. We're closed off in Asaka. Uh, Asakusa, huh? Oh no, I left the laundry out to dry. Someone's gonna steal your panties. Despite the situation, Unison is as nonchalant as always. In a way, her mental mentality makes me kind of jealous. Anyway, let's go back to the base and tell the perv and others about this. This concerns them too. Well, what do you mean? I guess it makes sense, but still. With Asana san in front, we jump into the dev room on the second floor. What's wrong? Did you all forget something? He sounds like he doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> Did the god of creativity smile upon you? You're impressed by the surge of ideas while going back every night. Confident is his assumptions, Aruka-san nods. They are come to me, my brother. What if talk about the world settling to the break of dawn? The break of dawn! It's not why we're here. Awari, Aruka, Natsumi, listen carefully. She pauses for a moment before quickly getting to the point. We can't go back home. Can't go back home? Natsumi-san doubtfully knits her eyebrows. Is there a problem waiting for your home? Ah, oh, did the Hayase Hotel perhaps become the lair of Majibis? How tragic. Natsumi-san ignores Aruka-san's comment and asks something more reasonable. Are you falling behind our rent? Did you come to borrow some money to pay? It's not like that. We can't go back even when we want to. When we go to our home, we just appear at completely different places. Awari-san looks at her with an exasperated expression. Asano, take, taking alcohol is fine all, but why let it take you? Seriously, why would you even become even more sandy than you are? Hold on there, Sakai. If you take her sandy nature away from her, there should be nothing left. Ouch, she burn. She's just so prone that she's lost and can't find her way home. That's very Asano sound like. If you ask me, she has my full support. It's a nice kind of sadness. I'm ready yet. It's just sad nice. God. Aruka-san strikes a pose. It feels like he's actually trying to praise her. What the hell? What is... What? That doesn't work as praise at all. Asana-san turns angry. Randomly takes some packing tape, a packing tape and throws it towards Aruka-san. Screamy! 
I should have avoided alcohol when I'm old enough. I don't want to become sad nice. Wow, she's even copying him. Let's meme it. Quit saying that word. Don't make it. Don't make it a thing. And Ori is. You think I'm just acting wrong? I'm not. I'm completely sober. You, you. Also, you know what's with me. It happened to her too. You too, Reggie. Go on and tell me too. Asana-san figured they won't believe from just her own words, so she turns to us for help. She's telling the truth. When I went to Asa Asakusa Station, I appeared at the intersection of Kanamari on Block 1. We tried again and again, but it doesn't work. It's like we're closed off in the city. Our testimonies make them change their attitudes. Asana-san's drunk and Reijikun's almost passed out during today's experiment, so you can't really trust them. But if Yuno says it too, we can't ignore it. Uh, wait, are you doing words? Wait, wait, really? The airhead? Well, I guess she's honest, I guess, if that makes sense. True, we have to consider Yuno's words. Let me correct myself. It was just Yuno's words that brought the change. My words were actually as untrustworthy as Asana San's. Poor us, eh? Asana San? Feel a sense of familiarity towards her. We're a sad, nice duo. Even our, the main character get into it. Anyway, just go outside right now. Try out for yourself. It'll make things way easier. I don't want to go outside. Natsumi-san sh is the shut and says with an unusual amount of emotion. I too am currently contemplating the information of blowing from within. I would prefer not to stop. Can't we just do it tomorrow morning? Their laziness makes Asana-san snap. Just get out there right now. If you don't, I'll disturb you with my special selection of heavy metal songs. Oh god, not heavy metal. Actually, heavy metal, depending on the situation I can handle, it's usually, cra it's like ta crappy, crap rap and talking rap are not my, are not some of my favorite things. The scary thing about her is that she never hesitates to do what she says she would. She's already going to, le to her desk and working the CD player there. Oh man, alright, alright, I'll come with you. The walk won't hurt. Awari san stands up and the other two follow. Asana san's threat worked. Though, if you ask me, she should have threatened with one of her own songs from her own voice. <laughs> no one here can stand Asana san's tone deafness. They'd run out of the office for the first note. That's not something I can say out loud, though. Asana san's not aware of her tone deafness, and if she asked me what I meant, I have no answer. We all leave the dev room. I don't know, maybe you should tell her, you know, at least she'll learn about it and try to get around it. I mean, Beethoven made songs and he was deaf, so... So, what are we supposed to do? I'd like to get this over with as soon as possible. We need to impress the per place first. Let's go to the way we think, dude. Exact exactly, let's go, you know? Let's show them what we're, that we're right. Okay, alright, everyone, come with us. Asana-san and Yuna-san start walking, the rest of us follow. We leave the street to J7 office. We leave the street J7's office is. We leave the street J7's office is on. Wait, what? That's why it's throwing me off. It wasn't. We leave the street J7's office is on. We leave it on. Ugh. I I I think I know what they're trying to say. We leave the street J7's office is on. I was kind of reading it weird. Like I was thinking I was expecting something else there. So that's okay. That's fine. And come out into the Hisago shopping street. Unison suddenly stops and turns to us. It's here, that's where we were returned. It looks like a normal street to me. Asumi-san is still skeptical. I saw that I was just drunk. But what about you, you know? Are you sure you're not misunderstanding something? Maybe you're just attached to the base like you, that you back subconsciously? Um, I don't know, maybe. Unison starts to doubt the strange phenomenon. Because she's an airhead. Don't be, com don't be convinced so easily. No, wrong voice. Don't be convinced so easily, you know. This experiment experience is way more than that. Asana san looks ahead and gulps. Alright, let's go through the place. Come with me and don't stop. You'll see just how right I am. She hastily walks to the north of Asaga Street. The rest of us follow her at the same speed. So. Do-a-do, 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 do-a-do. We come out at a completely different place. Yeah, this is exactly the same that happened to me. I've experienced it too many times now, so I'm not that affected. I just calmly look around. This is the Kanamari Monster. Kaminari Mon Street. It's the south of the place we just at. We went to the north of the Hasaga Street and appeared here at the south. If this isn't supernatural, I don't know what is. <laughs> 
Hey, hey. Natsumi-san looks around in confusion. Seriously? Awari-san looks dumbfounded. Whoa! san shouts a weird voice, probably out of shock. See, it's just like I see it. Asana-san proudly puffs her small chest. Oh, game. There's something both amazing and saddening about the fact that she can act so haughty in this situation. This isn't right. It can't be real. I'm not accepting this. That's not true. It's impossible. Natsumi-san panics and talks at a slightly higher pitch than usual. You'd never expect the cool, emotionless beauty she she usually is to act so girly. Again. Let's try again. Oops, wrong voice. She hastily walks off. If you did all you want, that's what I did. Natsumi-san leads the way and we all follow her. We pass the Roku and return back to Saga Street after about seven or eight minutes. Let's go. Okay, let's go. She momentarily hesitates, but the guys were resolved and goes to the north again. Naturally, we follow after. And so, follow the leader, the leader, the leader. We're following the leader wherever we may go. Tee-dum, tee-dum, tee dum tee dum tee Sorry, it's been, You know, it's funny. I haven't seen that movie forever, and I still remember the song. We come out at Kaminari, Mo Kaminari Mon Street again. This is impossible. This just can't be happening. Her voice is shaking. It's obvious she's having trouble believing her own words now. This has to be some mass psychosis caused by some gas leak. We're all under its effect and we're coming here we're coming here subconsciously. This has to be it. She desperately tries to find a logical explanation for this, but no, that seems impossible. Awari-san outright denies it. I checked my smartphone before we passed the Saga Street. Not even ten seconds passed since then. Um, what does that mean? That the likelihood of turning back without realizing is zero. A lot more time would have passed otherwise. He was more. He was doing something that, that reasonable in this situation. I really admire his tact. Anyway, I'd like to do a little experiment if you're all up for it. What do you tend to do? Oh, it's nothing special. I'm just thinking of walking backwards. Ah, I never actually thought of that. Or did you three already try it? Um, walking backwards? Like, looking forward to walking backwards? Um, I feel like I might trip. Yeah, it is hard for humans to walk backwards. Unison starts taking steps backwards. Man, she's just as much of an airhead as always. Wait, this isn't time to be charmed. Is it the time to be charmed? What is going on around here? Are we just going to run around forever and never really figure anything out? Or will the game finally push us in the right direction? Find out next time in the next episode of Our World Is Ended. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.